Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I hate to commit when I have something I know and like. Are you that way? I'm considering a couple rackets to change to, and I'm going to walk you through my journey of these three. Stay tuned. All right, so before I get going on my journey, um, coffee sponsor of the day, my man Kyle Martinez. Thank you for my morning cup of joe here. Um, it's actually really hot. Uh, Kyle writes, been watching all your vids this past month. Really enjoy the channel. Just got back into tennis. All the guests are awesome. Coach Goo is a bad mamma jamma. He said a different word, but I can't say it, I guess, on this. Because I might get beeped out. And uh, and he also says, Santa Cruz native here. Oh. If you want to support the channel, support my coffee habit, network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. You want to check out my merch? Tennis spin USA. All right. So, oh, man. Mm. Ah, I could probably drink that all that right now, but I'm going to take you through my journey. So the first racket that I've actually been pretty impressed about, new company called Fury, and this is called an Arma Pro. Now, after I hit with this with the coaches, I was like, hmm, I'm going to give this another look and a, another try. Because the weight and the balance um, is kind of right down my alley. I have to like the racket in stock form first before I start customizing it. Just because I have to hear a certain thing, feel a certain thing, and have the racket finish a certain way before I start messing with it. So, And this is one of the rackets that I feel is kind of within realm of what I would possibly like. So, Armor Pro, this is the heavier version. Um, another one is the SX300 Tor, which I deem could be the 98 of the year. Um, it actually has a lot of characteristics like my Burn 100, except this would kind of be like a Burn 98. I like the balance. I like that the, the weight is towards the, the head here. And I like that the racket kind of finishes it up, finishes up for me. Um, so it, it, it plows. It's got great plow, great feel. I mean, it feels like home. So that's the other thing. I want rackets to feel like home of what I'm used to. And these two actually definitely do it. The third one is the blackout. It's the blackout 300 from Selenko. And this one actually feels, you know, similar to these two. It's a little head lighter than this to my hand, but it's within realm. And again, it's got that feel that I'm looking for. You know, you guys know I like feel, I like sound, I don't do dampeners. And the more feel and sound I can get from the racket the more weight towards the head i can get from the racket the better it is for me because you know the dampener actually kills the the right sound for me so i gotta make sure that when i actually hit the sweet spot that i'm actually being told that i'm hitting the sweet spot and that's what these three rackets do for me so you know part of the reason why i like this racket is you know it is blacked out it's a cool name it is all black uh so every you know whenever i walk out with this rack everybody's like hey what is that hey what is that it's like it's some pro stock so i'm gonna take these three out before i customize and see um what my second takes are all right guys so we're on the court got my man coach rob to hit me today so as I'm deciding what I may switch to this year.
All right, so we just got off the court testing. Um, I kind of know what I'm leaning towards a little bit, but it, it's still pretty much up in the air. Uh, but I'm going to ask Coach Rob, what did you like out of these three? I like the Fury uh, in the sense that it was I was able to swing really easy. The ball jumped off the racket. Um, it was very effortless in how it came off. It didn't have uh, a lot of vibration. It was very smooth. I thought the weight was pretty good. Um, I like this one. And it's very pro staff like. That it is. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yes, it is very pro staff like, which is what I use. Because we know Coach Rob leads Wilson Red. Okay. Now, the other question is, which one do you think I played better with? So out of these three, um, I thought Harry moved his feet the best with this one, and that's when he was hitting it pretty good. Um, cool. But he was moving his feet, setting up, and hitting the ball pretty well. So I thought it came off pretty good with this one. Um, you know, he hit also well with the Solinko. Um I don't think either of us hit particularly well with the Dunlop, but... Oh, interesting. Um, or maybe I just shanked a couple with the Dunlop, <laughs> and that's what I remember. But Interesting. See, I... I actually thought I played well with the Dunlop and I played the worst with the Fury. That's, that's what I was seeing. And, and the Slinka was somewhere in the middle. That's what, that's what I felt when I was on the court. But maybe I got to watch my own video and see, uh, what I liked more. Cause it, it, to me, the feel felt like this one. Um, this was kind of in between the two. And then this one obviously had the most control of the three. So it might be true that I get more balls on the court with that racket. And or better depth. Definitely. You know. Definitely. But that's what the I tape felt. Will, the tape will tell. Yeah, we gotta, we got to watch the film. <laughs> we got to watch the film, guys. want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today. Coach Rob, thank you so much as always. Very welcome. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey bud. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Harry. No. Uh -huh. You'll be moving your feet watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>